Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make silicone molds. Super simple and easy, so let's jump in and get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some tape, and I'm just working on a piece of wax paper here. I went ahead and laid down three strips of tape, so they were overlapping each other and kind of created a seal. And what I'm using to make my mold or house my mold is just a sour cream container. It's a plastic container that I cut the bottom part off, and you could use this, um, but for more of like a professional look, you'd want to use something that's perfectly round, like a cookie cutter or something like that. But since this is just a mold that I'm going to be using for myself, I went ahead and used the sour cream container. And now I'm sealing that with hot glue. So there's a nice tight seal on the tape. The silicone rubber I'm going to be using is the Mold Star 15 Slow. I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description if you guys want to get some too. And I'm an Amazon affiliate. So if you guys use my link to get to Amazon and buy this product or any other products that will help out my channel. So what you do is basically stir up the parts A and B before you measure them out. You want to stir them inside their own containers. I went ahead and just used a plastic spoon. And once you have that done, you can measure your parts A and B out by volume or by weight. I'm going ahead and um, measuring them out by weight. I poured 1.6 ounces each into my little cup here and I'm going to mix that up for three minutes. The instructions didn't say how long to mix it up but since I mix resin for three minutes I thought well I'll just mix this for three minutes. And you want to scrape the sides of your cup, scrape the bottom of your cup, make sure you get those two parts really well mixed. And I mixed this up pretty slowly because I didn't want to introduce a bunch of air bubbles. And I'm going to be using acrylic blanks to make my molds. Check out this beautiful etched mold. I'm going to be uh, casting or making a mold of this uh, acrylic blank next week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this video, but I wanted to show you guys how pretty it is. I got my blanks from my friend Lindy on Instagram. She makes acrylic blanks. Be sure to go check her out if you guys want to get some acrylic blanks. She can do all kinds of shapes. I'll link her information down below in the description box. So I'm going to be using a three inch acrylic heart that's going to be made into a keychain mold. I went ahead and pushed it down on my tape here. Um, you want to make sure you clean off the surface of your acrylic blank with a microfiber cloth. You don't want to use alcohol on acrylic because it can damage it. So what you want to do is just push it down on your tape, take a microfiber cloth and kind of just clean it off. Since it was brand new, I didn't do that um, in this step, but going forward, I will make sure that I do that. And then you just pour your mold star in that you had mixed up. Um, it says to pour it in one spot and kind of pour it high up if you can to help eliminate some of those bubbles. And that's about it. Super simple and easy, right? And it says it sets up in four hours, but I actually just covered it up with upside down storage container and let it sit overnight. So here we are the next day. We're going to pull off the tape and see how it turned out. Um, this was actually really easy to do. I was kind of nervous because I had never made silicone molds before, but it was actually a lot of fun and super simple and easy. Um, but like I said, if you want a more professional look, you're going to want to use like a cookie cutter or something that's totally totally round to kind of house your mold but since this was just for me I used a plastic container so check it out look at how cool the acrylic blank popped right out with the tape and then you just kind of take your finger and push it through your plastic container here and the hot glue peels right off too you just peel that off I'm going to go in and clean up the edges here with some scissors around the outside. Um, ideally, you're going to want to use like a cuticle trimmer, but I had ordered one of those and it's not here yet. So I'm going to use that next time. So I'm just going to go in with these little fingernail clippers here and very carefully clip this little bit that got inside my mold here. You want to be super careful. You don't want to scratch the mold because anything that you make in the mold will show those scratches. So I'm going to finish cleaning it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. I'm going to be turning that etched keychain into a mold next week along with making a coaster mold. So be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. I'm going to be uploading that next week. 
And here it is, all finished. Check it out. It turned out perfect. It was so fun to make my own mold. I've wanted to do this for a long time. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you want to get any of the silicone or any of the supplies I used, be sure to check out the description box. I'll link everything down below. And like I said before, if you use my Amazon link, to get to Amazon and do any shopping that will really help out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it and if you did go ahead and leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot. Thanks again guys. I'll see you on Friday for another video. Bye!